Engineers earn their wings on flight to the future, our man gets an exclusive preview of the UK's next fighter jet. A simulator pilot guides a jet along a ladder-like line, snaking through the valleys of North Wales. The imaginary aircraft twists through O-shaped loops on the screen. It may look like a video game but actually it's a lot more than that, says John Wigall, a flight dust manager at defense giant BAE Systems. The simulator is part of a multi-billion pound program to deliver Tempest, the UK's next generation supersonic stealth combat aircraft, by 2035. The project uses digital technologies to predict how the aircraft will operate and then makes tweaks to the design. The idea is to save time and money by identifying issues before it is actually built. A real-life demonstrator will be in the air by 2027 before Tempest itself finally takes shape, replacing the Eurofighter Typhoon. Engine maker Rolls-Royce has been testing advanced technology for the plane in Bristol while successful ejector seat trials have taken place in Northern Ireland. First announced in 2018, the program has since become a collaboration with Italian and Japanese defense industries. France and Germany are separately racing to build their own Typhoon successor. I was invited to the cavernous five hangar at BAE's base in Wharton, Lancashire, whose origins date back to the Second World War, to see how the Tempest program is taking shape. The simulator mocks up the landscape of the Mach Loop Dash the series of valleys north of the Welsh town of Mach Hendleth, which for decades have been used as low-level training areas for ultra-fast jets. Ten pilots, led by XRAF flyer Steve Formoso, have been putting Tempest through its paces electronically since March 2020, with 125 sorties lasting a total of 170 flying hours, but without worrying the sheep. It's a lot of fun, says Wigall. It ensures the jet systems will operate smoothly whatever your flying style. Wiggle says, when you drive a car people can drive very smoothly or very aggressively. Pilots are very similar. You can get a pilot that's very, very smooth and gentle with the flying controls or you can get a pilot that's actually very sharp and aggressive, and rough. <laughs>